So today we're looking at a few different applications for the HQK, and as we go through each of these, we'll point out what specific aspects of the solo representation become the focal points for the specific applications themselves. So the first application that we'll look at can be from a punch, or a push, or a choke, or a grab, anything that involves their hand coming towards you. And I'm going to go two different ways with this potentially. If I move to the inside, I'm going to focus on the circular movement in itself, moving in and hooking, right, grabbing, which can lead into an elbow strike or any other close range strike, as long as I keep in mind that I have to get wherever I'm going before his other hand potentially gets to my face. So the second variation of that movement starts off the same way with the push and then the hook to pull inside. If necessary, I'll use this hand to block whatever may be coming from this side, but my focus here after I pull him towards me is to use the same hand to press down into some sort of takedown that way. The next movement is from a wrist grab. Now, we'll keep in mind here that wrist grabs aren't all that common in actual combat unless it's by some reaction, whether I've grabbed him or he's, there's something in my hand maybe. So, the goal here is to pin his hand on my wrist in some way and working on the deviation of the wrist to make a wrist lock on him pressing down. And of course, this same movement can work if for whatever reason he's using both of his hands to grab my one wrist and I'm still working against the one wrist of his downwards. And of course, that can lead into any knees or kicks from there. And while we're looking at wrist grabs here, uh, the next one we'll look at is if we have both of our wrists grabbed at the same time. And from here, we can just use the basic movement of the block itself to circle underneath to loosen up his grip and for us to gain control from here, that can lead into strikes from there just as easily. And this is really similar to the basic technique in itself as used as a defense against just a straight punch or anything of that nature. So next we'll look at a couple of applications for movements in the kata that involve two hikyuke consecutively. So for this application, we'll use the same attack of any hand coming towards us, whether it be a punch, a grab, a choke, or anything of that nature. So for this one, I'm going to go inside to make the basic block as we normally use. And the second one here can represent potentially a block on the other side, but the focal point here being the grip onto the throat here. And again, the grip is not going to be all the way around the neck. It'll be focused on the trachea itself. And the other version of that is if I'm moving to the outside here, using the basic block to start with, and the second one here can represent a takedown, focusing on the circular pull at the end of the movement, bearing in mind that because my hand is moving in a circular fashion, my foot should also be moving that way. So keep in mind as you work on the second variation that it only works if you make movement of the body outside of this attack. It won't work if you try to take someone down by staying in front of them and pulling this way. It just doesn't work. So make sure that you move outside and close to them to angle off so that you have a good distance to be able to pull here using the fingers into the neck or things like that and then the take down or sweep with the foot as well. And if you do have a sequence of kata that involves three consecutive hikyuke, you can just make a combinations of the same applications from there, where you can start off by moving to the outside, using the arm hook the same way, and then adding a takedown with the knee, this being the third hikyuke, or even just moving straight into the third being a throat grab from there. So hikyuke in general as a technique itself reminds us the importance of circular movements and the importance of keeping the elbows in to help generate power with pulling and things like that. If you have any other ideas of applications for this technique, I'd love to see them. I'm always interested in seeing new things. So thanks for watching.